Let me show you how we can create our own HDRI images inside of Unreal Engine and then use them in other applications like Dash Studio to make super fast, extremely handsome looking renders out of this. I'm going to go and use the stylized winter city environment by Jesse Storm's assets here. That is free in June 2023 when I'm recording this video. And thank you so much to Horizon Dolls who said, hey, I'd really like to see a WP Guru video on how we do that. And I'm more than happy to oblige. Thank you for bringing me onto this topic in the first place. So this is that scene. It's in an empty project here. And I'm going to go and move down here to where I'd like my character to be somewhere here in front of this house. So the HDRI is going to be spherical and it's going to be in an aspect ratio of two by one. It's going to look a little weird, uh, but Unreal Engine has this built in under the cube icon here. Head over to all classes and just search for cube. Just start typing and then this list with down and we're going to need a scene capture cube and when you bring that in you'll notice that it looks like a camera a cinematic camera but that's just the icon for it so it is actually just an object that we can place wherever we want so if i go and left click and drag that down and hold shift down i can go and position it just above the ground so it doesn't matter exactly where but it'll have a visual impact on when you compose it with your other elements we're going to have a look at how you can preview this live in a second so with this selected head over here to the texture target under the scene tab this is under details panel so the cube render target selected in the details panel under scene capture we're going to have a texture target and that's currently set to none if i go and click on that i can go and create myself a cube render target that will prompt me for a file name and a location i'm just going to use the top content directory here obviously you know you can get more organized and we're going to call this one hdri cam and this now gives me a tangible icon here in the content browser so control space to open this up you can also dock that so that you have the unreal engine 4 feeling and this is that object here now so if i go and double click that then you can see what this looks like it is actually a live picture of my scene so if i go and left click and drag my camera you can see that this is generating my hdri live if i go up and down if i go under the ground that also is also possible and you can also move it back and forth for then rotating it doesn't really make a difference because spherical cameras capture the whole 360 degrees of this image so i'm going to go and put it here perhaps and then under the size x i can choose the size of my hdri it's currently set to 256 if you click this icon here it'll go back to one pixel so this is the smallest and this is not what we want the largest we can set it to is 2048 which means your hdri is going to be 4k by 2k so this this side here is going to be 4K and this side is going to be 2K. That is the largest we can use. So this is a hard coded value inside the release version of Unreal Engine. You can increase that if you are clever enough to compile Unreal Engine from source. There is a value that you can increase, but be warned that this requires off the scale knowledge of compiling applications. So I'm not going to go into that here, but you could increase that. Just know that this is going to have an impact on performance while you do this. So this is just a live preview, but it isn't something that I can export out. To turn that into something tangible, I can go and right click my camera as it is now, create a static texture from it, and that'll create another file with the same file name called underscore text at the end. And if you look really closely, you can see that those two pink strips are actually 0.005% different. So not exactly all that noticeable. But if you go and rename this to, I don't know, winter one, as an example, then it'll be distinguishable. You can go and move your camera now to a different position and do it again to create a new HDRI. So this is the actual object that we need to export. Right click on it, head over to asset actions and say export. And I'm going to call that, yeah, winter one is perfect. There's only one thing that we need to change, namely the save as type. DDS is not something that Das Studio or Blender or Photoshop can understand. So let's go and change that to HDR because I know Photoshop, Blender and Das Studio understand that. And that'll be called winter.hdr on my desktop. And let's see what it looks like. Over in Das Studio, I've got a character here that is Michael. And if I go and switch this over to 
iRay and display draw dome here. Then we'll see what I currently have in my scene, which is just the default ruins HDRI. And that, of course, yeah, doesn't look great. I have a couple of lights in here so that he gets a bit of a rim light and a bit of a brightened up face. So in order to import the HDRI from Unreal Engine, I'll go to the render settings tab on the environments tab on environment map here. I'll go and browse to my desktop where I can find Winter 1 HDR. Load that, give that studio a second, and here we go. That is just my scene. The scale doesn't look great at the moment, and that is just because I need to make a couple of adjustments there. I have set up the two cameras here, one with a kind of wide shot here, one a bit like that. So we're gonna go and see how to adjust that in a moment. But just now, just for the perspective view, if I wanted the background to look smaller, I'll go to environment, I'll go to the dome setting here, and then I'll change this from infinite sphere over to finite sphere. And then I'll have a look at the dome scale multiplier here. That's set to 100%. If I go and set that to something smaller, then my HDRI gets smaller. So this might work. I might go and set it a little smaller, maybe eight or so, and maybe that's going to that's going to work just fine. If I wanted to rotate the HDRI, that is under Dome Orientation Y. You can go and left click and drag that over. I think the default is this. This is a little tricky to get that properly previewed in iRay because it takes a while, but the more you move it, the more you'll change the position. The best thing I can suggest there is you frame up your character from where you want him to appear like this, and then you tweak the background around it. So I think we need to go back a little bit so that we can see the Christmas tree there, maybe something like that. If I go to my close-up camera here, then this is probably a little bit too pronounced. So I'll probably want to blur that out, which is why the size of the HDRI doesn't really matter. So you get these slight jagged edges here that you can actually get rid of if you head over to the render settings and choose environment light blur. The moment you enable that, then those types of jaggies will be smoothed out a little bit. But obviously even better is if you select your camera and just enable the depth of field here, then you can have renders like this. And that is just really, really nice. And they render just so fast because the HDR just you know loads so much faster. Add a little bit of a vignette around the picture, maybe make it brighter, do whatever you like, crank out some great, great pictures with the assets you've been collecting over years. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.